sunshine go away today I don't feel much like dancing Some man's gone, he's tried to run my life He don't know what he's asking When he tells me I better get in line I can't hear what he's saying When I grow up, I'm gonna make it mine The time is all we've lost, I'll try it And he can't even run his own life I'll be damned if you run mine Sunshine, sunshine, go away today I don't feel much like dancing I can't believe you died Zelda, time to go. Run hell, Buck Muncher. He must be talking to you. You love Tommy. Thanks, JJ. Don't leave, Tommy. I love you. Again, that's for you. Hey, Tommy. Don't forget about Christy. Hey, hey! Knock it off. Sunshine, sunshine, come on back another day. This is as far as I go. Well, I'm not leaving if you're not leaving. This old world, she's gonna turn around. Brand new bells will be That was my stupid brother. A little late picking you up? This guy's late at everything. Every freaking thing. This guy did one thing early his whole life. Drove off with a getaway car. You know, not my sister. She's a real saint. I'm surprised she's not here now. One of those, huh? My brother late all the time. This guy, he would be late for his own funeral. I'm telling you, late, late. Hey, there he is. Working hey, Chew. starts to make me wonder where the fruits of what I do are going. He says in love and war all is fair. But he's got cards he ain't showing. How much does it cost? I'll buy it. The time is all we lost. I'll try it. And he can't even run his own life. I'll be damned if you run mine. Sunshine, sunshine, come on back another day. I promise you I'll be singing. This old world, she's gonna turn around. Brand new bells will be You know how long I was waiting out there? Tommy, it was awful. Yeah, awful waiting two and a half hours in the hot sun. I was held up, okay? I mean, I stopped at this gas station just to pee. They had a gun. This happened just now? I thought they were gonna kill me. I... Sorry I'm late. Wow, are you all right? I don't want to talk about it. I'm, I'm just so happy to see you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's good to be out. <laughs> Dickhead. Where'd you learn how to do that? Carpool. All right, look, I wasn't held up, okay? I didn't stop at a gas station to pee. I just, why was it Cooper's soccer game? Soccer? Well, how did he do? I mean, how did he play? You know, they have Cooper at halfback. What he really wants to be is a winger. And then Emily Jansen brought these great low-fat crunch cakes. We all got to laughing and lost track of time, you know. Yes, I know how that is. Like, how about three long-ass hours waiting outside of prison? You're my brother. I love you, so I lied. I just want everyone to be happy. 
You want a lifesaver? I have a red one for you. Listen, Vic, I just want to go home, take a hot shower, do whatever I can to ease the huge amount of stress and tension that I'm feeling, okay? Is that too much to ask? Hey, Tic Tac? That's not really helping, Vic. Vic! Damn, Vic. What? Welcome home. Is Ed gonna be here? Well, he is my husband, and it is his house. <laughs> no, I mean, is, is he all right with me staying here? Of course. Why would you even ask? Because he hates me, Vic. What did Mom always say? Hate is for Hitler. Now, come on. You are staying with us till you're back on your feet. Let's go. Grammy is busting. She's excited I'm finally out, huh? Well. 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 Hey, Vic. Well what? Tom, we never exactly told her you were in prison. Her heart. You were too afraid. I know about her heart. So where have I been for three years? Welcome home from France. <laughs> Bonjour, Tom. Hey, Ed. Mm. I missed you. <sighs> hey, Coop. Good to see you, man. Ah, uh, <clears throat> Alex. Cooper. Alex, don't you have something to say to your uncle? What? Bonjour, Uncle Tommy. Oh, bon bon bonjour, uh, un Uncle Tommy. Thanks. That's really sweet. Benvenue Encino. Benvenue uh, en en Encino. Okay. Can we go, Mom? Hey. Oh. What's with the kids? Well, they're a little nervous, Tom. They've never been around anybody who's actually been to France. Yes, he's so international, our Tommy. Notre Tom. Yeah. He's a bon vivant, you know. No. Grandma's been taking French lessons from CDs. For trois ans. For three years. Two pour sept jours. <laughs> All for this day. She won't use headphones, so I've gotten pretty good, too. Oh, your French is very good. Où sont tes valises? What? <sighs> she wants to know where your bags are. Yeah, Tom, I mean, you must have brought more than that one little box back from France. France. We were watching Gigi, I chose France. Her heart? I couldn't upset her. Upset someone once in a while. I'm taking your car. We're having meatloaf. 6.30. I don't want to wait a whole lot longer for dinner. Back soon. It'll be nice. Fine, fine. Put that back. I want to eat. Choo Choo Eddie needs some coal in the boiler. He probably drove down to that abandoned railroad bridge where he and Christy used to go. Has he been asking about her? No. <laughs> oh, he doesn't. You know, maybe just driving down there will make him feel better. I'm glad a lot of his favorite places haven't changed that much. Well, that one has. They started using that bridge again last spring. <laughs> Hey, can I go to Justin's after dinner? What about homework? I did all my math, and I just have a little science, but I can totally do it after. <laughs> Alex, less bread and more meat, please. Mom, you know I don't like I know, but... Great. Take it back home. That's weird. Huh? Tommy has jet lag and... Allow me. 
You see, kids, many people who spend a year or more in France get very protective of their food, and they often wrap it up and take it back to their... Rooms. Rooms. And you eat it however or wherever you want. Now, you know what? Why don't I just eat it right here? You're right. What am I waiting for? Speaking of France, Tom, you think you'll be going back there anytime soon? What do you mean? Well, it's just that, statistically speaking, people who go to France and then get out of France usually end up back in France. Are we expecting anyone? You stay. I'll go. I'm going to go take a look at that. Excuse me for a minute. I'll be right back. Handsome as ever, Vic. Stay away from my brother, you cockroach! That's what I'm talking about. Grandma's little project. Listen, Vic. That was Gray you were talking to up front, wasn't it? Fred Klein in here. Do you like him? Vicky. Vicky, I can handle Gray. I don't want him around this house, and I don't want him around you. I'm out. I'm happy. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I don't want to lose you again. You're not going to lose me again. I promise. You're probably tired. So much easier if you were here. Christy? Yeah. I miss her. I just do. I know, honey. It was awful and it was tragic. But this is a brand new chapter. Listen, uh, it probably won't come up, but you should know that while you're in France, an artist in residence at the Louvre, you got engaged. How nice for me. To a beautiful young Parisian named Simone who can't be with you because she's training to be an astronaut with a French space program. How nice for her. Mom and Dad would have loved her. I mean, if they were alive and she was real. Good night. Hey, kid. Yeah? Where's the probation department? Down the hall. What'd you do? How would you feel if I asked you a question like that? Fine. I didn't do anything. Zelda. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Sorry for staring, but you're not quite what I expected when the word probation officer popped up. Oh, well, don't even go down that road, because I'll grind your nuts and send them back to you in a pepper shaker. That's more like it. 
Hey, Mom. Hey, buddy. Uh, wait for me downstairs in the cafeteria. Okay, Mom. Thomas Zelda. All right, let's see. An impressive list of juvies. A couple of Grand Theft Autos suspended. And then, oh, and then the big vacation. 36 months in a big house, interstate fraud and video piracy. Yeah. Well, I gave up fresh fruits and vegetables for three years so people in China could enjoy Lars and the real girl. Um, I want to get my son home, so let me cut to the chase. You do what I say, we meet once a week, keep your nose clean, and we won't have any trouble. You'll be able to eat off my nose. Go to 1222 Victory and see Mr. Geisman. I've lined up a job for you. Um, I don't need a job. My dad had an industrial paint business, and I want to start that up again. And I want to be a ballerina. Go. Listen, you've probably heard this a million times, but I'm not like the other guys that walk in here. I'm totally 100% committed to turning my life around, and I know just how to do it. I have all his old contacts, and I'll start just the way he did, by painting houses. Let me be your biggest success story. I can do this. R, uh, welcome to Pirate Burger, matey. You gotta get the whole pirate thing. Really grind the R. 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 Yeah. We're gonna start you in the back. So let me get this vest. Step one, pour the frozen potatoes into the basket. But you can't, I repeat, you cannot lower the baskets into the oil until the green light comes on. Then what? That's it. He's teaching them to fry on the first thing. You want to give it a try? Could I? <sighs> oh, this guy's gonna get burned. Just like you got burned. Yep. Yep. Light's not getting any greener, Seaman. Watch the public for chip. Here, head of letters coming at you. Not everyone picks this up so fast. Oh, you're a major league pitcher now. Yeah, you throw that letter at me. You're gonna do great. Don't start. Don't, don't even think about it. Throw that letter at me to see what I do. The hell is he? I want to eat. It's his first day on the job. Maybe he had to work late. Yeah, probably had some high-level meeting about the milkshake machine. I changed your sister's diapers for 11 months after the accident. Did I complain once? Cut him some slack. Okay. All right, we'll wait. Okay. Gotta love the way that shirt pulls in the front. What? Nothing. I think you said something. No, I like those pants. Shut up. Come on. Take the thing off my head. Easy. Just take this off. I haven't got money. Surprise! <laughs> Jesus, Gray. <laughs> Were you surprised? Huh? Aren't you? 
I almost crapped my pants. Get the man some new pants. How are you? Look good. Welcome home, scumbag. Oh, thanks, man. Looks like you're doing great. Yeah, you should see the office. Come on. Wow. Wow. These cars here, I give them the girls I break up with. Consolation prizes. Let me guess. I am hungry. Here's the office. <laughs> huh? Over the top, just like you. Not over the top. It's nice. What's your pleasure? You want steak, lobster, caviar? Yes, yeah, Cindy, that's right. Like the hair. Thanks. <laughs> I shouldn't be here, Greg. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. That's why I had to kidnap you. Hey, Tom. Just relax. Enjoy yourself for a few hours, okay? Besides, if you leave, I'm gonna have to kill you. Uh, you know what? I got a few minutes. Maybe I'll take one of those sausages. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Mitch, Mitch, yeah. I told you. You can get him a sausage, okay? And wrap Cindy up. He'll have her for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> You've been missed, my friend. You've been really missed. You've done real well. There's six billion eyeballs in China. They gotta watch something. Oh, shit. So I'm, uh, gonna go freshen up. You wanna come? You better learn how to pick up the soap of your feet, bitch. Welcome back. I don't think so. Don't go fine. Just like that time, go. All right. Sorry. These Chinese guys in San Francisco, they're making me a mint, but they're a pain in the ass. They really are. Thanks, baby. You know, not a Sunday goes by that I'm in church lighting candles that I don't thank God you didn't rat me out. In other words, thank you, Tommy. Toast. I toast you, I thank you, and I want you back. I don't care what your fruitcake sister says, I'm gonna take good care of you. Salute. Salute. Are you out of your mind? Jesus, Vic. You're home one day and you're back with those people? Come with me. It scared the hell out of me sitting there in the dark. Good. What are you so ticked off about? I'm a grown man. Listen, it's your life. You're if you want right, to screw it up, life. you can. Where are we going? What are we doing? What are you do, lock me in the garage? Rock. I was gonna wait till it was waxed, but I don't think there's any time. <laughs> Man, Vic, this thing looks brand new. Don't lose sight of this, Tommy. Don't get seduced by Gray. You can take Dad's old company and make it new again. You can do it. I can't believe you did this. I don't know what to say. Thanks. Thanks for everything. I just wish Christy were here to see all this. If I could bring her back, I would, okay? I mean, uh, so that you could have it all. Uh, Christy would want you to do this. She would want you to make it. I'm sorry about tonight. I know. New interior, new tire, everything's new. It looks great. Dabby, dab it, don't slab it. You're an expert all of a sudden? Even an idiot knows a dab from a slab it. Well, then why don't I just put little dollops on it? Now that's a smear. I hate this job. Hey, it's better than slathering in prison. Ex-cons, really? Never would have guessed. Nice work on the barnacle buns, Tom. Death. Thank you, Captain. Got a little mess on the poop deck. Restroom. Lunch overboard. Somebody barfed. I need you to swab. I'm picking up a Buccaneer burger, frigate fries, and a vanilla ship shake. Come on, Seaman Tom. Swab the deck. Seaman, the poop deck is that away. It's not smelling any fresher. Just a minute. Swabby, when I give an order, I expect your full attention. Christy, 
says not to worry, the filling will pass right through his system. You told me she was Hi. dead. <gasps> it's all right, folks. He's not a real pirate. He's my brother. You told me her car exploded. Exploded! I need the room, Denise. Well, Mr. Ballendorf is getting Denise, his... Denise! She needs the room. You remember my brother. Mm -hmm. Hello, oh, Mr. Ballendorf. How are you? Uh, All right, I'm going to tell you something, but I really need you to calm down first. Okay, I'm calm. First of all, I love you more than anything in the entire world. You are my brother, and I never want to see you hurt. Mm -hmm. This is so hard for me. Uh, Here. Mm. I want to start by saying I never liked Christy, and I never thought she was good enough for you. Six months after you went in, she dumped you. No way. She dumped you, Tommy. She wanted to screw around. She's trash. She wanted to tell you it was over, and I wouldn't let her. Why not? I knew how hard it was for you in prison. I didn't want her to make it any harder. This isn't happening. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Oh. I have letters she wrote. She wrote me a lot of letters. That was me. Excuse me? I did it because I love you, Tommy. I didn't want to see you suffer anymore. What about the sexual stuff? Yeah, that was a little icky. Mm. You're upset, aren't you? Why did you tell me that she had died? Well, Fritzy quit, and I started working for Ed. The kids got serious about soccer. It was the year we put on the sunroom, remember? And the letter writing was just more than I could handle. So I killed her. Probably should turn the gas off. That means fired, land lover. Arr, Captain. It. It's me, Tommy. Oh, my God. I just ate a pirate burger. I know. I work there. It's part of a probation deal. Listen, I, I, I know you moved on. I know you fell in love with somebody else. But, uh... Oh, I, my God. I can't believe this is happening. I know. My, you know I just... I just I, what I wanted to do is uh, say that yeah. you... Uh, yeah. Uh, Fabricini, the big screen genie. In a recent national poll, I made up myself for this very spot. Ninety-seven percent of the people agree. Size does matter. <laughs> you were dead. Really? I thought I was moving pretty good. No, Vicky told me you were dead. What? Yeah, she thought while I was in prison it would uh, protect me. Oh, 
You know, she never liked me. In my head, I made a million plans for us. Tommy. No, marriage, kids, get my own paint business going. Yeah, slow down, slow down, slow down. Now you gotta hear this. I never stopped loving you, even though my sister told me you were dead. And I wanna start over. I know we gotta start slow. Fred? Who's that? Frank. Christy? Who's Frank? Hey, Hi, baby. Hi. What are you doing here? I was driving to work. I got a little horny. I thought I'd pop by for a quick pass in the end zone. <laughs> it's so sweet. Hey, how come you didn't answer? You know how nervous I get when you don't answer. I was just about to jump in the shower. I probably didn't hear you over the sound of the water. <laughs> this building. Why don't you run and get us a cup of coffee? I'll be with you. Okay. <laughs> Tommy, I'm confused. You're confused? I want to watch. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, you know I like that. I'll be with you in just a minute. Okay. Go, go, go out the window. Out the window. window. He said he would kill any man he ever caught me with. Go! What is this? That is a little surprise I got for Maui. Your Monday's at four. Who are you, the Rain Man? It's a movie about a freak who remembers things. Forget about it. Did you ever kill anybody? I'm thinking about it. You're funny. <laughs> I scored the winning run. They gave me the game ball. What's that, hockey? Baseball. I'm really not allowed to talk to you. He didn't talk to me. I was talking to him. Inside. If I'm not out in one hour, you call the police. Okay. Oh, my mistake. You are the police. A day and a half and you get fired. What the hell's wrong with you? I screwed up, but I have my reasons. You guys always have reasons. First of all, I'm not those guys, so please stop calling me those guys. And secondly... Don't tell me about those guys. I made a career out of those guys. I married one of those guys. So you're familiar with those guys. I spent the better part of the day begging the captain of Pirate Burger to give you a second chance. God, I really appreciate that. Oh, I know. You want to start up your dad's business? And look, this isn't career day, Mr. Zelda. Do you want to go back to prison? No. Do you want to go back to Pirate Burger? No. Well, let's say those were your only two choices. Jibber me jibbers and work the What are you doing? I'm frying the frigate fries. You fry the frigate fries at 350? No, the matey potatoes are at 350, just like the doubloon loaf. You don't even fry the doubloon loaf. It's baked, nose white. Oh, that really hurts my feelings. Well, how about bastard son of a failed pickpocket in the hooker? So that's it for you guys, the great potato debate? Don't you guys have any dreams? I mean, something you want to do with your lives? Well, yeah. You, you, you know, you know, live a nice life. Uh, no more jail. You know, maybe start a family, some shit like that. I really like dancing. I want to, you know, I'm good at it. Sailor Tom, delivery. Stay on course, sailor. Let's keep it under 30 knots, sailor. Ah, yeah, yeah.
Pick up, Christy. Pick up. Hello? Hey, it's me, Tommy. Um, I, I need to see you. Tommy, uh, last night was a mistake. What are you talking about? I, I'm sorry. I'm really confused right now, and I can't talk. I've got to go to my parents. Wait a minute, Christy. Christy. Sorry. Um, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I live here. I know you're Papadopoulos. It says Franklin, 413. Ah. Uh, Ethan, get out here. Um, that's his father's last name. He did this to get you here. And that's why he asked me where you were working. Well, it's a good thing I don't work for a car dealership. <sighs> um, just wait here. Ethan, get out here now. I am going to count to five, young man. One, two. Hey, what's with the hat? Three. Huh. Do you think you could wear this any better? Be my guest. Four. Oh, yeah, that's work. Do you remember what the word consequences means? I, I do. do. Oh, uh, you came in. Yeah, I need you to cover this. Uh, what, uh, what do I owe you? Tell you what, the mutiny on the brownie, that'll be my treat, let's say uh, 13 years. But this is coming out of your allowance. Why? Uh, gotta eat. Ethan, where, where did he get the hat? Boy, how did... How did you get that? Uh, sorry for the trouble. There's no trouble. There's enough for all of us. Uh, finish packing. I don't want to go to stinky desert for the weekend. Grandma smells like corn. So does mine. Uh, would you not help? Well, I'm just saying. Pack. <clears throat> I'll, uh... See you Monday. Right. You know, this apartment sure could use a paint job. Oh, well, I'll speak to my decorator. Can my room be blue? Pack? I'm just saying, if my painting business is up and running. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, good night, Mr. Zelda. See you Monday. Just don't take this the wrong way, because you seem like an okay guy. Yeah? I would really appreciate it if you wouldn't encourage my son. He's looking for something, and I, I don't want him to find it in you. See you Monday.
pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Hey there. I'm here to see Chris. Oh my god, this is brilliant. What's with the party? It's an engagement party. They didn't tell you? No. Oh, hey, she is gonna love this. Christy, your pirate's here. Oh my god. Do you need music or do you have your own? Who knew that they came in you shop? <laughs> You said boyfriend. You never said fiance. I didn't want to hurt you. I wish somebody would hurt me. Somebody tell me the damn truth. I'm sorry. You can't marry this guy. What about us? Us was a long time ago. Us was last night. He just kind of came out of nowhere. My head was spinning and... I love Frank. Who the hell is Frank? Frank Frappuccini. The big screen genie. Oh, he's a great guy. He's a, he's a little insecure at times, but he loves me. I love you. I love you. I guess a part of me is always gonna love you. But Tommy, you were in jail for three years. Three years. Look at this. Look at this. While you were away, Frank was, was building a business, and he's gonna be the number four Mitsubishi salesman in the North Valley. Oh, whoop de doo I got a paint business. It could be the biggest one on the planet. That's not the point. You're marrying for money. For stability. Uh, the future. I, I want to have a child. This is so hard. If things were different, I would probably be marrying you. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get back inside. a chance to get my life back on track. I can be the guy you need. I think I already have the guy I need. Tommy, wait, wait, wait. I want you to promise me something. Promise me. If you ever, and I mean ever, need a TV, DVD, or any other high-end electronics that you will call us. You can't beat that anywhere. That means you will be watching your brand spanking new TV that very night. What? That same night? That's right, because when you buy from Frank, I will personally deliver your new picture. I'm not giving up. I spent too much time thinking about Christy to walk away now. You think I'm insane for being so hung up on her, don't you? No, I think you're a romantic and you're holding on to a dream, even though the reality is that Christy is a cheap slut and you deserve better. Here, here's the last cookie. Okay. That was a little blunt. I just don't understand what you're doing with her. You should be with somebody nice. She just wants someone to provide for. There's nothing wrong with that. I just need some time to get my game on, you know? I just feel like I'm playing catch up. Catch up? It's two words catch up. So there's no chance of her coming back early. No, she's in the desert till Sunday. I almost got this. Almost got this. Almost got this. What? He wonders why your breath smells like a donkey. <laughs> got it. So my youth wasn't entirely wasted. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Okay. These walls are gonna need a lot of prep. Yeah, they are. All right, two coats of flat on the walls. Let's do gloss and all the trim. We got some work to do, guys. Let's get at it. Come on. Come on. Careful with the little pottery pieces. Okay. You guys. Yeah. 
careful with those candlesticks. Oh. Candlesticks? I didn't see any candlesticks. Hey, you know how to use this stuff? Yeah. All right. I'm going down to get primer. Watch for uh. <laughs> oh. Still the paint? You look like you, you need a little activator. Put it back. Put it back. Thanks for making us a part of this, Tommy. Hey, you guys did me the favor, and I won't forget this. It's being a freaking pirate. I'm gonna pay you back for this someday, Tom. Something big. <laughs> like what? How the hell should I know? Just thought of it. You want to know a secret? Sure. I lost my virginity in this truck. Oh, my God. That is so weird. So did I. <laughs> it gets weirder. So did Mom. <laughs> Say, it does get weirder. <laughs> Angela. What the hell were you thinking? Are you out of your mind? I just wanted you to know how good I was. W at what? I mean, breaking and entering. I could have you arrested. I love my blue room. All right, just go back to the car. And if you do this again, I will have you arrested. You're a probation officer. Yeah. You broke into her apartment. Yeah. Boom. Hey! Come on, get in. I think he means me. Tommy! You drive. See a cop just tour. We'll be in Mexico before you flip on the siren. This is the golf cart driving. I'm on probation. Forgive me if I'm a little nervous about doing 125 minute 25. Ah, this thing's nice. Good mileage too, right? <laughs> this car. You want it? Don't do this to me, Gray. Tommy, I want you back. I need you to come back. I need someone I could trust to take this thing to the next level. I just got out of prison. Right, how's that going for you? You having any fun? Any money? Good future, huh? Well, nobody ever went to prison painting a house. You're not gonna go away. It's not cans of film and videotape anymore, Tommy. We stream the master to China broadband. All right, nobody here even gets their hands dirty. It could have been me who went away. It was you. I, I owe you. Let me let me give you this. It takes 12 million. Half of it's yours. Six for you, six for me. You gotta do me a favor. You gotta stop asking.
sorry I'm late. Hey, are you seeing another ex-con? I mean, is it over between us? I stopped home to check on Ethan. He was up all night with an earache. Is the kid okay? Not that I'm taking any special interest in your kid or his ear. No, the, the kid is fine. Thank you. Good. Uh, we really do have to move this along. I'm late for the office, and it's my job to scrape onion debris out of the fryer. I really want to knock their socks off. Well, this will just take a second. What you did yesterday was incredibly stupid. In retrospect, perhaps. You really pissed me off. But I do know what you were trying to do. Doesn't make it any less stupid, just more understandable. You're a really good painter. Thank you. What changed? What do you mean? Why the change of heart? Oh, I don't know. A little, little voice just kept saying over and over, don't be so mad, don't be so mad. The kid. Yep. I spoke to a judge I know who does a lot of work with ex-cons. He said he needed some painting done, and I told him about you. Call him. Wow. <laughs> Remember, nothing changes. No, I... But... No, you keep the day job and paint in your spare time. Um, I don't know what to say. Say you won't screw it up. I won't screw it up. I won't screw it up. Hi, it's Christy. You know what to do. Christy, it's Tommy. You know, I never give up. Got my first painting gig. You're engaged, but you're not married yet. This may sound crazy. But we're going to work this out somehow. You know why? You know why, babe? Because I want you. You hear that? I want you. Tommy, you look pretty chipper cleaning that fry. That's because I got us another painting gig. Oh, feels like there's a dead body in here. You know. Oh, my God. Goodness, look at her. Hey, Tommy, come check this out. Oh, man, I would love to bang her. Oh, I'd bang her until she forgot her name. Her name is Christy. That's Christy? Perhaps we were a bit indelicate. I figured this whole thing out, and I am so thrilled I had to come down. Okay. After my prank, I just do... I, I'm in it too far, and there's a band, we're going to Maui, and I love him. Oh. But I love you, too. Huh? So, here's what we're gonna do. It's a little different, but it's the only way. I am gonna marry Frank, but you and I are gonna see each other whenever we can. What? Don't oh, hear me out. He travels, he works late, he's in the Army Reserve. I know. We're all Catholic, but I think in the end, we're all gonna get what we want. I don't want to do that. Oh, come on, honey. Think about it. Mm, 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 mm. Grows on you. Mm. God, I don't want to make love to you right now. I really want to make love to you, but unfortunately, I have to go taste wedding cakes with Frank. Mm. Love you. Screw Frank Frabbuccini, too, while we're at it. Maybe she lost her mind? Who, who goes into a marriage planning on cheating? What woman, anyway? You know what you tell her? You tell her, dump Frank, or forget it. Delivery. Wow, Tommy, that is one saucy winch you've got. Arr! <laughs> Shiver me timbers. What am I doing? She's got the rich guy now and a big, fat diamond. If I were smart, if I were smart, I just walk away. You know what? I don't care what he says. He's still not over. No, I really want to do something for that guy. Something big. What the hell are you going to do? How should I know? I'm just, it's a gesture. Poor guy, he's turning his whole life upside down. 
You think she'd do me on the side? Convicts are here. Ching ching. Bada bing. Brown chicky brown cow. Should have been a judge. Well, you stood up in front of enough of them. Listen, guys, let's go in, check out the situation, be courteous, and act like professionals. There's a magazine just about hotels. How's it going, guys? Hey, good. Beautiful house, sir. Oh, yeah, beautiful house. If I gotta take a dump, I'm taking it home with me. All right. We've met before, haven't we? I don't think so. Edgar. Cover it, let's move on. Man, I am hungry. If we keep moving at this pace, we'll be out of here by early afternoon. Oh, my God. What? A rat? No. My sister. <laughs> Look what she made. Zelda and Son painting. Thomas Zelda. Wow, that's nice, Tommy. That's... Wow, did she make one with our names on it? Probably in tomorrow's lunch. Which one of you is Tommy? Right here. Oh, thank you. Hey there. Nice work. What, are you checking up on me? <laughs> a little. Ethan had a game just nearby, and I thought it might not be a bad idea to come by and see how it was going. Well, it's uh, actually going really, really good. Terrific. It's great to hear. Where's the judge? In small pieces in the basement. I'm afraid we had a little tip over the price, and I overreacted. <laughs> hey there. What's happening? Hit a triple. Must be pretty exciting for a basketball player. I mean, triples and all that. If you actually went to a baseball game, maybe you could learn something. Yeah, I don't get asked that much, but uh, thanks. You know, busy guy. Um, honey. Can you give us a second? Mom. One, two, three. Four. That's really quite impressive. Just out of curiosity, what happens when you get to five? Oh, well, you do not want to know. Oh, um, I was not encouraging him just then. I just wanted to say hello. That no, was... I know. I know, and I, I appreciate it. I do my best to be unappealing, but man, it's a losing battle. Uh, hey, um, do you want to come to his game tomorrow? I don't want to do anything to encourage him. No, I, I'm saying it's OK. I just, do you want to come to the baseball game? You said. No, I'm just, just answering. I, I will answer. I just want to know. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, yes, that would be nice. Thank you for asking. See? OK. OK, get back to work. OK. Huh. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. <laughs> I feel this is a catcher. Yeah. Good job. Go, 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 go. That's a double play. That's a double play. The kid's good. <laughs> Oh, look, he's showing off. <laughs> oh, he's not like that when it's just me. But. Go, Bulldogs! Woo! Nice. Nice. <laughs> How long has it just been you? Mm. Now, would it be okay if we just kept it about baseball? Sure. You know, it's, it's always been just me. Ethan's dad left nine years ago, so since then, it's always been just me. No, correction, the, the night Ethan was conceived, it was the two of us, but since then, it's been just me. Meet him at work? <sighs> Baseball, right. 
I'm much of a team sport guy myself. I tried drag racing, mostly other people's cars. Well, Ethan's father was um, an incredibly sexy, incredibly charming con man. He called me his angel. <laughs> hey. <Jesus>. No. <laughs> well, he said it so many times, I believed him. And then one day he emptied my bank account, took my car, and disappeared. So, I mean, I, I had this fantasy that I could save him. Ugh. What an idiot. I an idiot for caring about someone. No, I meant him. I had this whole picture, but none of it was true. It's just amazing what we can talk ourselves into. That was great today, kid. I'm beginning to like this football. <laughs> Baseball. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Hey, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Thanks yeah. for asking me. Oh, great. I guess I'll see you Monday? Yes. Um, uh, wait a minute. Um, um, uh, back at the game when I was talking about myself, I don't usually do personal real well. I haven't done it at all in a long time. Listen. And you don't owe me an explanation. Let's just keep this about baseball. No, I, I want to say something. This this job makes you tough. It makes you put up a lot of brick walls. And, well, it felt good to be a little less tough today. So, thank you. Thank you. sitting out here. Oh, just relaxing. It was nice of her to ask you. Yes, it was. I like that, Angela. I know you do. Don't go in. Sit next to me. You want a beer? Yeah, let me go pee first. Oh, be in the azaleas. The kids do. I think Grandma does, too. <laughs> and then come sit down. Stay out here with me. It's such a beautiful day. <laughs> Hello, All right. brother. Okay. All right. Mm, I'm just gonna... Is there some reason you don't want me going into the house? Don't be ridiculous. Why wouldn't I want you to go in the house? She's up. She wants you. She's not the only one. Oops. What's going on? Ricky! I'll be right there. Ricky! What's going on? Nothing. She's fine. She fainted. She fainted? Yeah, apparently she got some upsetting news. Vic? When I got home, she was on the phone with Air France. She was going to take us all to Paris to see Simone's launch. Your fiance? The French astronaut? Vic, I know who the heck Simone is. Hey, hey, come on. God, Tommy, she was reading out the last three digits of her MasterCard. I had to stop her. I told her there was a practice launch today, and the whole rocket blew up. Bad fuel mix, faulty wiring. Simone didn't make it. What are you guys on crack? She didn't make it. She didn't exist. Grammy. Grammy, it's me. Are you okay? Guys, let me handle this for a minute. Hey, I heard you fainted. Are you okay? Oh, my poor Tommy. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be okay. Such a tragedy. Such a waste. Will you bring the body here? Is there a body? Oh, oh, so sweet, Trey Trees. What are you saying? What's she saying? I am very sad. 
Monka, Monka, la de la. Her heart, her heart, the pain. Crunch, boy, didn't you pick up any French? <clears throat> Beautiful. Oh, fuck. I beg your pardon. Edgar? Oh, I'm sorry about the language, man, but you scared the shit right out of my ass. Oh. Mrs. Pierce, uh, we're just about finished. You guys have done a really great job. I, I appreciate that. We all appreciate that. How would you feel about doing the upstairs? Um, I think we'd feel fine about that. Well, great. We'll finish up in here. I'll give you an estimate. Wonderful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Hello. Hey, Angela. It's me, Tommy. Did I catch you at a bad time? Oh, no. Hi. Uh, no, we're just on our way to a birthday party. I don't even like that kid. Uh, what's up? Great news. Mrs. Pierce asked us to paint the upstairs. That is great. Well, I just wanted you to be the first to know. Uh, uh, bye. Hey, fellas. Oh, not bad. She just wants a color change. Got to prep these walls. I'll run down and get some primer. Hey, Tommy, thanks for making us a part of this. A couple of muffs like us with real jobs. Shelby's working at the prison paint shop. Hey, you're welcome, man. Yeah, I'm never gonna forget this, Tommy. Someday I'm gonna do something to pay you back. Something big. Thanks, Edgar. You can start by moving the dresser. I'll be right back. Come on. Hey, come on. Come. So what's this big thing? What big thing? This big thing you're gonna do for Tommy. How the hell should I know? You get off my back already. I mean, what are you gonna do? You gonna show him how nice you can dance? You gonna dance for him, Edgar? Hey. You know something? What do you got a problem with every freaking thing I do? Friggin'. Friggin', yeah, friggin'. Hi. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I, w I was driving home, and I knew what time you got off. And I'm not stalking you or anything. <laughs> so anyway, I just timed it out, and I guess, oh, OK, I guess I am stalking you. <sighs> you want to come in? Oh, um, no, Ethan's. I can't. Ethan's asleep in the car. Hey, yeah. Just crack the window and lock the door. <laughs> no, I, I just came to say something, and I wanted to say it in person. So here we are in person. Here it is. You are different. I don't know how much different, but you are. No, you are. And I know he likes you, and 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 that's very important, but but he's never been burned romantically by someone like you. I don't mean to call you. No, I don't. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I don't mean to call no. you someone like you because you're nothing like something like you know, someone like you. But and I, I don't even know if romantic is. I, I'm not even sure that romantic is the right word. And I, I, right now, I'm not even sure that I don't even know what the hell I'm doing here. I'm. Things up, honey. Do you, do you want to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Are you, are you sure you want to do this? No. I'll be there at eight. Great. Okay. Great.
can't work tonight. And why not? Because I have a date. Dear, would you get me that nice syrup I like in my coffee? It makes it taste so good. Thank you, dear. So good on a cold evening. It's August. All right, fine. This helps. It just does. I'm upset about Simone and what it's done to Tommy. A senseless tragedy. Two shattered lives. Uh, uh, this is easy when you're this pretty. How do I look? Huh? You're going out? Grief counselor. He's going to see his grief counselor. Oh. For my grief. I don't go on a limb for you, and this is how you pay me hey, back. Hey, 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 what are you talking about? Oh, oh, don't bullshit me. Where's the ring? What ring? Judge Pierce just called. His wife's diamond ring is gone. So give it back. I didn't take it. Oh, brilliant. Just brilliant. Believe me, this had nothing to do with me. All right, just get it back, Tommy, tonight, or the judge will call the police. I bought you a couple of hours. God knows why. This has nothing to do with me. I didn't do this. I am such an idiot. Tell me where that ring is. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you haven't got it yet? Just tell me where that ring is. Oh, you're gonna love this. Got to order from them. So who's Tommy? What the hell is going I'm on? Sorry, honey, it's complicated. I can explain. My God, look at the size of that thing. Is that him? I didn't hear anything. He's here? This asshole's here? Is that what you're telling me? Son of a bitch! Christy, oh. Christy. I gotta hey. get that ring back. Uh, hey, 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 stop, hey. stop, stop, don't, don't, don't. I, I love him. What? Well, I love both of you. Yeah, but, um, I don't love you. Oh. Well, in that case, maybe I just love Frank. That's it. Don't come no, no, stop, no, stop, no, stop, no, stop, stop. What about the ring? It was stolen. I don't care. It was magnificent. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to do that. I wasn't going to hit you. To be honest, Frank, there's no way I could have known that. That's a good point. Ice. Oh, I'll get him some ice. Right here. Thanks. Or a bag of frozen oh. vegetables, or even better. Try to breathe through it. Breathe through it. Breathe. Breathe. Just breathe. Look, put the peas on his nuts. Oh. oh. Okay, I, I'm so confused. No, you're not confused. You love this guy. I'm just a complication from your past. Frank, you have nothing to worry about with me. I'm going to get out of your lives. Because Christy, she's crazy about you. Christy. It's true. It's true, Frank. I do love you, and only you. I know that now, mm, baby. Listen, guys, I hate to interrupt, but we gotta go. Tommy? What about the weekend day? I don't think so, but thanks, anyway. <gasps> Angela, Angela, we got it back. Right. I'll call the judge. Good night, Tommy. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, please, it's been a long day. Angela, this had nothing to do with me. You got to know that. Okay, it wasn't you. I've got to go. Wait a second. I hired those two idiots. That's my fault. That's it. Hey, all right, Ethan, get back in bed. Now! Okay, I screwed up. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I just want things to be whatever we were going to be. I can't. I thought I could, I wanted to, but I can't. Why not? I can't get even a little bit close to someone like you. I mean, the ring, those guys. There'll always be trouble in your life, and I don't need any more. I, I, I just have enough of my own. This isn't right, Angela. Please, Tommy, if you care about us, leave us alone. When somebody says they're sorry, you're supposed to forgive them. Well, this is different. How? He said he was sorry. He's not coming around anymore, is he? busting your chops about your dumb ideas and all the big things you want to do for Tommy? Yeah. Yeah, it really hurts sometimes. Well, this time you were right. Jack and that ring was the most thoughtful thing you've ever done. You see, I just want people to be happy. Well, he and Christy are going to be real happy. Hey, you think they're going to invite us to the wedding? Without question. We'll be the best man. I'm telling you, Wedka, what you did for Tommy is going to turn everything around for him. Pull the vehicle to the side of the road. Uh, I was bringing it back. Who would steal this piece of shit? I think I might need a little help. Zelda.
get out of here. I'm supposed to tell my probation officer I am so screwed. Don't tell her anything, it never happened. Yeah? No record, no paper, no trace. Death sergeant owes me. For real? For real. Aren't you the man? Thanks. I mean it, thanks. And I'm back in. Really? Yeah, I'm back here. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, as soon as I can set it up, we gotta go to San Francisco. I need you to meet my Chinese guys, because pretty soon, they're gonna be your Chinese guys. That's a signing bonus. Later. I'm glad you're back. What the hell was he doing here? Where were you? I gotta get some sleep. What were you doing with him? Listen, I had a real shitty night. I just want to go to bed. You're working for him, aren't you? Stupid asshole. You're gonna end up back in jail. Thanks for the opinion, but I know what I'm doing. If you're with him, I don't want you back in this house. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Ethan Papadopoulos. Hello. Is Tommy home? No, Tommy's not home. Will he be home soon? I don't know. I don't think so. Does your mom know you rode all the way over here? No, please don't tell her I just wanted to talk to Tommy. Okay. I'll tell him you came by. Gonna be able to get home before dark? Yeah. Make the trip a couple times together, and then once the Chinamen get to know you, you'll make the trip by yourself. Be calling. My sister. Your sister? Come on, you're such a goon. You know what I'm wearing. You have to take this. Tommy, where are you? Hey, Vicky, I just want to call you, and I want you to know that I'm okay. Come home. I can't come home right now. I'm leaving town for a couple of days on business. I'll call you when I get back. You can't leave town. You'll break probation. Don't do this. Listen, I know what I'm doing, all right, Vic? Just... 44 Tango Lima. Welcome to Santa Monica Airport. <laughs> What are you doing with this guy? Hey, Vic, as soon as I get back, I'm gonna... Hey, sis, it's Ray here. How you doing? How is your bald-headed little bastard husband? What's the matter, 
matter with you? Come on, what's the matter? Come on! Tommy, once we get on the plane, they, uh, they give me a pilot's hat. <laughs> no, 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 don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. This just makes me feel good. I'm just fooling with you. If I wanted a pilot's hat, they'd give me one. You know that, don't you? Hey, Vic, you gotta go back home. Ethan's missing! Since when? Who the heck is Ethan? Angela called right after you did. He didn't come home last night. I gotta go, I gotta go. What? I gotta go find that kid. Tommy, get on the plane, come on! He came by the house yesterday looking for you. Tommy, I'm not messing around. Get on the plane or else you're done. Don't go with Tommy, Tommy. I'm not Listen messing around. Look for my milk car. Hey, hey, hey! Oh. hey. You all right? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Angela, Angela, look, I know you don't want me here, but I'm just here to help. What can I do to help find him? Hey. We can find the kid. <laughs> you found him. Well, I was worried. I was really worried. Where'd you go last night? Sizzler. You ran away to a buffet? No, wait, no, nobody ran away. He didn't run away and just come back? No. Didn't you call my sister and say he ran away? No. I was held up. You got engaged. If I could bring her back, I would. She dumped you, Tommy. Simone didn't make Letter it. writing was just more than I could handle. So I killed her. Ethan's missing! <laughs> My sister. My sister. <laughs> Should be hospitalized. Vicky told me Ethan had run away so that I would come back here. Why? Why? Maybe she eats too much bran. Well, because she's insane. And she probably should be locked up. I was worried. I'm glad you're safe. And I should go. I'm sorry to bother you. Thank you. I can make Cooper's soccer game. I knew you wouldn't go with Gray. Yeah? Want to know how I knew? Because you're a good guy. I hate you. It'll pass. I have to go back up there. You knew that too, didn't you? <laughs> See if they want to come for meatloaf. Listen, I know you're scared, Angela. Um, I'm not the guy that went into prison. I'm the man that came out. There's... A bad man doesn't go to a Little League baseball game or feel the way I felt when I thought something was wrong here. There's nothing bad about how I feel about you. Well, you're a good man, Tom. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm afraid of.
Hey, Vicky, we're here. Everyone? Ethan and Angela. Hi, I'm Vicky. Oh, so glad you're here. Me too. Come in, come in. Hey, you, you like meatloaf? Oh, yeah. Yo, Cooper. Ethan. How you doing? Come in. Ethan, nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, Angela. This is our daughter, Alex. Nice Hi. To meet nice to meet you. Hi. Cooper. Cooper. Nice Hi, Cooper. to meet you. Uh, I can take that. Oh, great. And this is Grandma. Oh, lovely. And I'm going back to work. Well, this all worked out. See how a little white lie can be good? Angela. Oh, you have been so wonderful to Tommy. I don't know how he could do without you. Oh, well, thank you, but he's done all the hard work. And you should be very proud of your mommy. I don't know how someone decides to become a grief counselor, but thank you. Oh, grief counselor? Oh, enough about grief. Grief, schmeef. I say good grief, let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you must have me confused with someone else. Uh, okay. I'm Tommy's probation officer. Mm -hmm. Well... Well, he had to see me when he got out of jail. Tommy was in jail? Thanks again for everything, Tommy. You've been real good to us. Anybody else might have hit us in the head with a shovel. Oh, yeah. He's doing that big thing for you right now. Not a good idea. I'm tired. Hey, get back in line. Get back in line. Big hands, Edgar. Big hands. Big jazz hands. There you go, two steps. Yeah, yeah, get your ears into it. Kick it, yeah. Oh, spin, there you go. Hey, get back on your toes. I like that move. There you go. Oh, yeah, the, the wiggle waggle. I like that too. There you go. <laughs> yeah, hump it out. There you go. Hump it out. Hump it out. <laughs> 